destiny where you heading for you can choose the light you can choose a right hey i hope you had a great week and if not i'm here to cheer you up because we have a power packed show waiting for you this is be mine I'm your girl Shana and as usual keep me company and I will keep you fully entertained. Oh, as always, we start off with Jumbo Toto Jumbo Toto.
I'm little as I am, I want to learn. This is because education is the king to a good life. Thank you. Shuleni, wazazi wakaniacha, uzuni ukanija, mda kanza ya marafiki nikawapata. Sasa nasoma, sasa naandika, kalamu jembe langu, kitabu shamba langu. Nililame wana ujinga wangu, nani aliondoa? Mama kajaribu lakini akashindwa, baba kajaribu lakini akashindwa. Mwalimu peki yake ndio aliondoa ujinga wangu. Sante sana mwalimu, mungu wa kubariki, asante ni. This is a caterpillar. Do you know how to make one? It's very simple. You need tissue rolls scissors, glue, and colored papers. Using a pair of scissors, cut the tissue rolls into small rolls. You have to be careful with the scissors to avoid cutting your fingers. Now cut the colored paper into different stripes. Roll the paper stripes onto the cut tissue rolls, like this. Caterpillars have eyes and mouth too. That is what we are working on. Some little glue on the paper to make the eyes. Let's color the eyes. See, it's taking shape. Different colors for there. Stick the other rolls together using glue or staples to make it more firm. There goes our caterpillar.
On that high note, it's time to try out the tongue twister. Even that's a tongue twister. Anyway, sing Sammy Sang songs on Sinking Sand. Sing Sammy Sang songs on Sinking Sang. Sing, sing, sing Sammy Sang songs on Sinking Sand. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Try it out. Sing Sammy Sang songs on Sinking Sand. Sing Sammy Sang songs on Sinking Sun. Sing Sammy Sang songs on on Sinking Sun. Sing Sammy Sang songs 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 on Sing Sing Sammy Sang songs on Sinking Sun. 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 Well, that calls for a short break. Short, sure, not long. <laughs> anyway, let's go for a short break and grab some snacks. Back in a few. Welcome back. This is Beamers with me. Sana. And coming up next is yet another segment that I love. Story time with Auntie Mukami. Well, let's see what she's talking about. Story, story. Story, ka. Hadithi, hadithi. Hadithi, jo. Hapa zamani za kale, Mfalme Simba alikuwa mgonjwa na alikuwa na sore throat. Si mnajua vile mzee Simba the king Simba huongea? Yeah. Yeye huongeaje? Yeye uka hivi? Tukae hivi. Alafu anasemaje? Ana roar namna gani? <laughs> namna gani? Na woga ama na nguvu sababu yeye ndiye mfalme. Na nguvu? Ana ana roar namna gani? <laughs> Lakini sasa wakati huo akashikwa na sore throat. Alipoamuka anasikia huku kunauma, sijui kichwa kinauma. Akasema, "Eh, hey, mambo gani hii inaendelea? Wacha niite mmoja wetu, mmoja wa wafanyikazi wangu, aende akaniletee dawa ama akaite daktari." Daktari wao alikuwa anaitwa Mr. Owl. Si ndio? Mnajua Mr. Owl? Eh. Yeah. Haya, akajaribu kuitana lakini saile anaitana sauti haitoki ah, anajaribu tena ah, ni kama huko amenyongwa sababu alikuwa na sore throat akashindwa sasa nitafanya namna gani anajaribu kuitana na pali amelala ni mbali na pali wafanyikazi wake walikuwa sasa akasema hai dhuru acha niamke niende nika kwa daktari Mr. Owl Mr. Owl anaishi wapi Nani anajua pali Mr. Aula anaishi? Anaishi juu ya mti, si ndio? Yes. Sasa bwana Simba anaenda akipractice, anajaribu lakini sauti haitoki. Anajaribu namna gani? Eh? <coughs> Tena namna gani? <coughs> Amenyongwa kwa sababu yako na sore throat. Akatembea tu akajikaza, akatembea hata kama alikuwa anaumwa, akajikaza, akatembea, akafika kwa ule mti pali daktari alikuwa. Daktari anaitwa nani? Ati Mr. Oh. Mr. Oh. Sasa akaenda, aka knock knock hivi, hiyo mti hivi. Mr. Hall akasikia. Aka akauliza, "Hu? Hu hu hu." Ati akaulizaje? Hu hu hu. Sasa naye Mr. Snake ndiye tena tunaita bwana nyoka alikuwa anaishi tu hapo karibu kwa huo mti. Sasa wakati huo Mr. Owl na Mr. Snake walikuanga na wimbo wao. Mnajua vile nyoka uimba? Yeah. Uimbaje? Tena tuone? Tuone. Tena. Bas. 
sasa ilikuwa kila asubuhi bwana wali hiyo wimbo wao bwana Aula alikuwa anaamka anauliza hu 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 ehe twende hu 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 tena naye nyoka anajibu aya sasa tuimbe hiyo wimbo sasa wakati mfalme Simba alinok pale kwa mti sinaye alikuwa anauliza hu 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 anauliza ni nani huyu ananok mti wangu sasa na ala kasenda Naye nyoka kusikia hivyo nyoka akasema nini Sasa alisema kwa sauti sana kule chini bwana Simba anajaribu kuro <coughs> sauti yake hata ifiki kwa daktari Aul kwa unajua kwa nini kwa sababu sauti ya bwana nyoka ilikuwa wapi ilikuwa juu sana Sasa bwana Simba tena akajaribu kunok nok nok naye Aul akauliza akaulizaje <coughs> Tena. Naye nyoka akajibu namna gani? <laughs> Sasa bwana Simba hata hasikiki sababu huko amenyongeka. Sasa bwana Al na bwana Nyoka wakaongea na Sasa bwana Al alifikiria kumbe ni bwana nyoka alikuwa akifanya nini akinok mti wangu. Hata sasa hakujisumbua kutoka nje angalie ni nani. Sasa Simba ako hapo akaona hai hapa mi ninaumi ninaumia. Akaanza kutembea. Sasa ile anaenda hivi akakutana na bwana Sungura. Kukutana na bwana Sungura akajaribu kurod tena. Alirod namna gani? <tos> tena. <tos> Sababu alikuwa na sotrut. Bwana Sungura akamuuliza, "Eh hey, mfalme, ni nini kinaendelea? Kwani sauti yako imeenda wapi?" Akasema niko na sore throat. Sasa Sungura akamwambia usijali. Si twende kwa daktari, kwa daktari Al. Lakini Al akasema all amski. Bwana Sungura akamwambia sasa fanya hivi. Enda utafute asali. Bwana Simba akaenda kutafuta asali. Kwenda kutafuta asali aka akaangalia nyuki zikaona ndio huyu bwana Simba anakuja nyoka zina nyuki zikatoka zinatoka namna gani tena naye bwana Simba kuona akaona yeye hizi zitanimaliza bwana Simba akaenda akakimbia 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 sasa ile anakimbia hivi akakutana na Mr. Bear Mr. Bear akamuuliza mfalme ni nini kinaendelea bwana Simba akasemaje Niko na sotrut. Akamwambia usijali. Kuja nikupatie da, da. dawa. Naye bwana Bea alikuwa anaweka asali kwa nyumba yake. Akakuja akampatia asali. Bwana Simba akakula asali, akapewa tena mafuta ya, ya mnyama mwingine, akakula na akapo akapona. Sasa tumelani nini? Saa ile uko mgonjwa unafanya nini? Unaenda kwa daktari, si ndio? Yeah. Unaenda kwa daktari, daktari anakupatia da? dawa. Eh, na kama daktari unanok na daktari akusikii, unafanya nini? Unaenda unauliza usaidizi, si ndio? Yeah. Na hata sio kama saa ile uko mgonjwa, hata kama uko na shinda yoyote, hata kama ya homework. Saa zingine si tunashindwa kufanya homework. Yeah. Tuko na ugonjwa wa kushindwa na homework, si ndio? Eh yeah, tunaenda tutasema nisaidie. Ama ni nini nyingine inatushinda? Eh tunashindwa kufua nguo, tunashindwa kufanya kazi, tunaenda tuomba usaidi. Usaidizi. Eh yeah, kwa sababu kama bwana Simba hangetoka, mfalme Simba na hiyo sotroti yake si angekufia kwa nyumba tu, si ndio? Yeah. So hata kwa hivyo kama unasikia umeshindwa namna gani, hata kama unasikia uchungu namna gani, unatoka unaenda unasema usaidi usaidiwe kama mtu wa kwanza akusaidi unaenda kwa mwingine na kwa mwingine si ndio yes. na hadithi yetu imekwisha <laughs> na tuseme goodbye goodbye
Our birthday party today was prepared by Muema from Antisi Christian School in Moda. Well, all wishes to people who are celebrating their birthday this week and next week and the week. Okay, you get me. <laughs> Bushdog is a small mammal belonging to the family of dogs. Bushdog can live in the forest and seasonally flooded areas. It is also known as savanna or water dog. Bushdog has reddish fur on the head and, and neck. They have brown fur on backs and dark brown fur on the belly. The young ones are covered with black fur. Bushdog has short round face and small ears. It also has short legs and short bushy tail. 
Bush dogs sleep in hollows of the trees. They eat meat. They hunt in groups. They live in groups of up to 12 animals. Bush dogs can live up to 10 years in the wild. I believe that fashion does not only make one more beautiful, but also gives them confidence. You'll know what I mean when you check out the fashion show. Get ready for some dance moves. Oh, did I mention the talents too? And we'll be back shortly. Get in touch with us. Here we go! I told you I'd be back in a few. Anyway, on our Drama Skits segment today, uh, we have a traditional dance by Parkland's Park Baptist School. That's a tongue twister. Courtesy of UNICEF, we, Bonanza Valley Academy, present to you, Regina, class 10 at my age. Apologies and disease presenters, we ask not to perform until we tell you where our schoolmate Regina disappeared, why her school has been stopped, her hopes dented, dreams demented. Please listen to us. We know it's a competition and we are afraid of suspension, so suspend adjudication. We, we pupils of Bonanza Valley Academy, bear not to perform. Until you call 116, accept our apology. By road accident, father and mother die. Regina is left orphan, faced with life's horrors. 
messenger. But the stranger makes a light head. He wants to touch her. Regina cries. He tries. She refuses. He beats her. Angrily, piercingly, passionately, he beats her. And throws her out in the cold. Again, surely, does this often deserve all this? Physical, sexual, and emotional torture. Honorable ABC presenters, ladies and gentlemen, you are silent. That is why we, pupils of Bonanza Valley Academy, beg not to perform until you call 116. Accept our apology. Regina was our best point reciter. Don't you remember ABC presenters? The best female presenter. Her dream to become a doctor. Her dream now shattered. Join us in this fight to speak in Regina's interest. From deep down our chest, we, Regina, all children don't deserve all this. Physical, sexual, and emotional violence. It must not go on anymore. Today, tomorrow, or ever. Honorable KBC presenters, we will now be leaving. Thank you for your kindness to accept our apology. Thank you. Thank you again. Mela 
miela, 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 camelo chuchu, ay, ay, tere kadumbe, doke vimalo, ay, ja, 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 weka, ay, soa, ay, ja, 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 weka, ay, soa, miela, 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 camelo chuchu, ay, ay, tere kadumbe, doke vimalo, ay, ja, 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 weka, ay, soa, ay, ja, 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 weka, they sang as it grew sweeter and sweeter, the time it was like a test of heaven on earth. Ah. Nakumicha was jealous of Imbanya and planned to burn her to death. Hell broke loose at night when Imbanya was asleep. Nakumicha urinated around the granite and lit a matchbox. Wow, ah. there's a fire!
when we talk about the dance challenge, that's what we mean. Eh, kazin zuri sana. Well, let's meet the dance challenge crew. This time we are doing it with the dance inspector. Hi girl, by the name Jabi there. Dancing me shika machine ani. Kila choche kila mka ani. Dancing a letter buru dami. Dancing me shika machine ani. Kila choche kila mka ani. Dancing a letter buru dami. Odi in the streets, odi in the church. Come slow, take your time. You know I feel rush. Not all people can accept 
set a stage it will be, it may be far they're gonna have to walk waste time and so having a car nearby maybe your parents car can help in saving time well at that age yes Nicole, they can, their parents will know that you're going to a party, but they won't necessarily know what you're doing at the party. Secondly, it's fun to exercise. You don't necessarily need to drive to everywhere. And thirdly, at that age, you should be focusing more on your studies, so I don't understand where you're going to get the time to drive. And even if you're going to drive, I don't think you'll have your car, your own car at that time. So. You could borrow your parents' car and maybe you're inconveniencing them, so I still don't support them. Most teens have bicycles. You can ride your bicycle to church, to school. You don't need a car. When it may helps you be more responsible, like when she said, Mickey, that the fuel, if you're, you don't have fuel and you have to steal, you can start your own business. Like you can, you can start smell, selling things or you do what you want for business. And you can earn money to buy your own fuel. When you're 18, because you learn how to drive when you're 16, you'll, you'll that's on the road accidents, true. But when you're 18, you're also, you're still a teen, so your peer pressure is still with you. And the case of suicide, you can kill yourself, which most probably is gonna leave, um, gonna leave your parents mourning for what you've done. If you get into like an argument with your parents and you don't wanna talk about them, you could go take a drive. You're stressed, and in the end, you end up crashing, or you could drive away from home, and it's actually much easier for a 16 year old to get hijacked so you could just be like getting out of your car to have a phone call and the guy gets in and you get in and he kidnaps you or rapes you or it's just really a really messy situation you can get a better sense of direction with when you're on a bus that's when you know which stage to get off when you're driving you really don't know where you're going to start with you, you're just driving because well, um, really, you don't know where you're going. It's better if you use a, a bus or a bicycle or a matatu. A, sen a better sense of navigation will get, you will, you will get a better sense of navigation when you're driving yourself. When you're driving yourself places. Yes, um, you get a better sense of navigation. Also, major roads and smaller roads are going to be taught as you do your course for driving, which will lead you to know more roads. It makes you navigate around your like, town or area, wherever you stay easier, and you don't always have to use a bus. Those were our views on whether or not 16-year-olds should be allowed to drive. Thank you for watching. Girl power! Yeah! Well, it's time to wrap up the show, so our Facebook page, Big Minds KBC TV Kids, and my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube page is Shana Manjaro with a U and single N. And I hate at the end of Shana. <laughs> Why do we have to end this show? Anyway, bye! We leave you with the trendy moves. This time we are doing it with the dance inspector. Hi girl, by the name Jabi there. Dancing machine, come machine on me. Kill a touch, kill a mka on me. Dancing a letter, buru dami. Shikadi machinane Kodana mu yuzi bila kujua yeni nani amani
Jamaica. Hey. 